Hi and welcome back to Hashtag WT20 Daily. I'm Mandira Lalwani. Coming up, England edge out Sri Lanka to qualify for the semi-finals. New Zealand make it four out of four by ruthlessly blitzing Bangladesh. And we look forward to the do or die monster match between India and Australia. But first up, Butler delivers a bumper innings for England. Herat's trapped Hills. Oh, close, very close given. Roy retaliated. Ball down the ground, all the way, six pennants. Van der Sleek conjured vital wickets. All straight to him. Oh, worth a shout, in front and given. Morgan with some form. Good shot, that'll be over the head of Long Off and six. But it was Butler the Beast dominating. Joss Butler in full flow. England bounding to four for 171. In reply, Sri Lanka slumped. Oh, big shot, like side, straight to the mouth. Go! Go on, go on. Hit the pitch hard. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's close. Then, some Matthews magic. Goes big, really big. Goes high, six. But a lack of partners sunk Sri Lanka. It's away. Oh, what a grab. What a catch. Bowl full straight. That is Chris Jordan at his best. Very good. Excellent from England. Look what it means to them. And England are through. They're through to the World T20 semi-finals. Tighter than we'd have hoped, given the position that we, we started from the first six, six, I thought. Our first six overs were brilliant to take three or four wickets as early as we did and put Sri Lanka under a little bit of pressure, I thought was, was fantastic. It was no Garden of Eden for Nichols. And he's got him both. But Captain Kane kicked on. And over again, using his feet, beautifully done. Oh, look at that for a shot. Munro monstered a couple. That looks a nice shot. That's a really nice blow. Some spectacular acrobatics. That's gone up in the air. Mid on. Great work that by Shubakatahom. Then, final over Kant. Got it. Gone a long, long way. Bangladesh just never got going. Here we go, he's bowled him. Off start. A surgical display by the spinner. Oh, yes. He's gone through him. Oh, he's knocked him over with a runner. Oh, it's so good to watch. Bangladesh butchered by New Zealand. Bowled. Gone. New Zealand win by a whopping 75 runs. Bowling Bangladesh out for 70. A look at Group 1 and England finishing second behind the West Indies and two to the semi-finals ahead of South Africa, Sri Lanka and Afghanistan. In Group 2, New Zealand a perfect 4 from 4 with Australia and India to fight it out for that other all-important semi-final slot. Well, England's advance to the semis has their players posting on social media. Alex Hales tweeted, what a win! Joss Butler, different class yet again and great death bowling from Ben Stokes and Chris Jordan. From the women's team, Sarah Taylor tweeted, How can you not love this game? T20 at its very best. Hats off to Chris Jordan and Ben Stokes at the end. Great win. And former player Freddie Flintoff thought it was a great win as well, tweeting, Maybe you'll start to believe me now, England to win the World 2020. The Black Caps win was a piece of cake and Colin Munro's tweet showed that you can have your cake and eat it too. To our Oppo shot of the day and it's another action beauty. This time it captures the moment Ben Stoke runs out Lahiru Thirumane as he desperately tries to make his ground in Delhi. Thirumane is staring at the stumps in vain. Okay now, let's talk India versus Australia. Do or die, the Mahali mega match, who will win? This is what our experts think. Oh, why do you have to put me in these situations? I've got friends on the Australian side, I live half my life in India. I'm very much on the fence here. It's going to go to the last ball of the match and maybe a super over, so I can't tell you until we see the super over. Who's going to win it? India or Australia? Australia or India? Australia. And it's going to be tough, but India have managed to scrap, fight and work their way into the situation. I'm going to pick them in a close one. It's a tight one recently in Australia. 
It was India who beat Australia 3-0 in the T20 series, but uh, it will be a tight, tight contest, narrowly won by Australia. So too close to call for some and a split decision amongst others. So let's hear instead from the two men who will definitely feature in this all-important clash. India's Ravi Chandran Ashwin and Australia's Shane Watson. Will it be his international swan song? It's not something that's new for us. Uh, we are used to this kind of pressure. But uh, we haven't played great cricket so far, so uh, we have something to look forward to tomorrow. If we can pick our games, game up tomorrow, I think then we'll start becoming the favourites for the tournament. We've played a lot many more matches than they have on this ground. So uh, we play IPL here, we play a lot of other international games here as well. So we do have the experience of playing here. Australia is a quality side. Look, we're not taking them uh, easy at all. I mean, of course, no, no side in the world has been taken easy by us. But Australia has one such team which has got great firepower in its batting and uh, we, know, we played recently against them. If uh, that could count for anything, we can try and exploit what we know of them. As always, I've said that momentum is very important. Uh, when, if we get the momentum, if we, if we get the first uh, pedal on the door uh, of winning tomorrow, then the crowd will definitely get behind us. Uh, it, it is a big factor when you play down in India. All the teams that come down here always face the crowd pressure, but uh, if we get the momentum and the lead into the game, that's going to be even more massive. I know how privileged I've been to be able to play so many games for, for my country. Um, just to be able to play um, cricket all around the world like I, like I have. So, um, look, at some stage you've always got to say goodbye. 2020 is very hit and miss, I suppose. Like some days you can be your absolute best and you come off, other days um, it doesn't come off so well. So I suppose you just got to ride those emotions. It's just so much fun. You know, everyone absolutely loves watching the game. All the players love playing the game because it's so much entertainment. India as a batting unit have got firepower all the way through, top of the order, all the way through the middle order as well. Um, bowling wise, obviously we've got very skillful spinners in these conditions. Um, Ashish Nira is bowling beautifully as well, so look, we're, gonna, we're just going to have to be our absolute best, there's no doubt. We have to put pressure on the Indian team from ball one, whatever we do first, and try and hold it for as long as we can. As an entree, we have the West Indies looking to remain unbeaten, facing Afghanistan in Nagpur. And then the main course hosts India in an epic battle against the might of Australia in a winner-takes-all matchup in Mahali. I, for one, cannot wait for that game. And could there be a better setting than the world's maddest cricketing nation? It has all the makings of a cricketing classic. We'll have the hottest action from that game for you tomorrow and satisfy your cravings for cricket on our show. So goodbye and see you then.